What's up guys, so a long time ago I made a pitfalls video about the bad FE wiki on wikia and why it sucks. It was a pretty well liked video, but occasionally I get a comment like, hey mecha, if the wiki is bad, why don't you help to make it better instead of complaining about it? This video is a response to that, and the answer comes down to two things. Number one, I don't want to. And number two, I am. <laughs> I should probably explain that since it's a little bit contradictory. So in case you haven't seen the pitfalls video or it's been a while, here's a short summary of why the FE Wikia is bad. Number one, it's full of misinformation on the pages. I called the FE Wiki a breeding ground for pitfalls and that's what it was. There was so much wrong opinionated info on the website that I could dedicate a video of over an hour long to it. <laughs> and I only really went over FE6 characters and a couple of other pages. And that's not even getting into the made up story information or the incorrect in-game data on the site. Also, it has those stupid videos at the top of the page, where a poor guy who knows nothing about Fire Emblem talks about Fire Emblem, while semi-related footage or unrelated footage plays in the background. By a missive from Hardin, Marth's army successfully subdued the coup with the aid of Katria and Paula, but failed to find Minerva as she had already been taken away by her brother Michaelis. Though he seeks to get Hardin's support in removing the corrupt general, Sita arrives breathless after they rescued the two royal heirs. Some of these have been taken down, but a lot of them are still up. Now, these are just the reasons I talked about in the pitfalls video, but they don't cover everything. The reason I don't want to help fix the FE wiki is because I don't just hate this wiki, I hate all of wiki and fandom. The way the FE wiki is, is the result of scummy business practices, and as you might know, I prefer calling out scummy business practices and not supporting them instead of helping them fix their problems, but... It turns out I did it by the both. Well, shit. Number one, I don't want to. If the only problem with Wikia was that their wiki had bad content, then I would be all for fixing the misinformation. After all, that's the whole point of a collaborative wiki. But my problem with Wikia goes far beyond that. The problem with Wikia is that it's not owned by fans, but it's owned by a corporation called Wikia Inc. Or Wikia Incorporated, I guess is how I'm supposed to pronounce it. And the goal of Wikia Inc. is not to provide good information, but to make as much profit as possible. It's to make money off of ads. This is very different from a site like, say, Wikipedia, which has much more noble goals and survives off of donations. Its founder, Jimmy Wills, wants nothing more for Wikipedia than to stay ad-free, which is why he bothers you for donations every year or so. I've even donated to him once or twice, because I love Wikipedia, and it's great. This is in stark contrast to Wikia. Wikia was founded with much more dark motives, by the evil corporate greed of... Oh... <laughs> the plot thickens. Well then, okay, uh, that's uh, that's quite a shock, <laughs> especially since most of the information I have on Wikipedia that can't be gathered just by looking at FeWiki comes from Wikipedia. Imagine that. Anyway, the Wikipedia page on Wikia has a whole section of controversies that shows just how gross the whole thing is. Let's read some of it, shall we? Controversies. Wikia communities have complained of inappropriate advertisements or advertising in the body text area. There is no easy way for individual communities to switch to conventional paid hosting, as Wikia usually owns the relevant domain names. If a community leaves Wikia for new hosting, the company typically continues to operate the abandoned wiki using its original name and content, adversely affecting the new wiki's search rankings for advertising revenue. Then there's domain and skin assimilation. Wikia has sometimes expanded by acquiring an existing wiki's domain name, user lists, and databases from a founder or co-founder in return for money and stock options. The original wiki is then shut down without consulting its editors or wider community. And then the domain redirected to wiki's version of the project. In the case of the acquisitions of encyclopedia.org, uh, gamewikis.org, and memoryalpha.org, the content was under a non-commercial license. In June 2008, Wikia adopted a new skin, Monaco intending to implement it as the default on almost all host wikis. Many wiki users felt the choice of skin default should remain their own, but the switch went, ahe <laughs> the switch went ahead, but some wikis retained Monobook as their default. In September 2008, the Transformers wiki moved content to their own server, citing their format-altering ads and mandatory changes as reasons for their departure. Wikifur moved likewise in 2009, and the NetHack wiki moved in November 2010, and the Doom wiki in September 2011. In May 2009, Wikia removed the ability of individual users to choose a skin other than Monaco or Monobook, claiming a testing burden and a relative lack of features. Soon after, Wikia removed the option to set the default skin to Monobook, with the exception of certain large wikis, namely Encyclopedia. And in May 
25, 2018, Monobook was removed entirely from Wikia, and all wikis and users using Monobook were forced to switch to Wikia's default Oasis skin, causing disgruntlement from many users in the community. The company cited technical difficulties related to keeping both skins in compliance with the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation. So basically Wikia, or fandom, same thing, sounds like a controlling corporation that, once it's got a hold of your favorite franchise's wiki page, it just never lets go. The Google ranking thing is especially gross because it creates a never-ending cycle that only increases the profit margins for Wikia and pushes actual fan-made wikis far away from where people can see it. Wikia has good Google rankings, so people keep going to Wikia, even if there's better alternatives. And because people keep going to Wikia, it's going to keep getting better Google rankings, and people will be more likely to help edit and moderate the Wikia instead of better alternatives, making it even harder for a beta wiki to get off the ground. It's so dumb! And as for the ads, well, they're personalized, so it's hard to get good examples, but I hate them. I don't hate ads, period, but the ones I see on the wiki are just so clickbaity. It will blow your mind. The stupid movies at the top of some of the pages are Wikia's fault too. It's not the final wiki staff that puts those on the pages, it's Wikia itself. The clueless guy talking about Lucina and Chrome's son from the future and that kind of shit is probably an employee of Wikia. So that's why I don't want to improve the content of every Wikia. I don't want to contribute to the success of a company that places stupid clickbait ads, spreads misinformation, and acts as a parasite to wikis built by fans by leeching them and then making unwanted changes to them. Wikia doesn't give a crap about any of its communities. I don't mind the fact that the company is making a profit, but it's the way they went about it that pisses me off. And that's why I don't want to. Now let's talk about... Number 2. I did. So by making an hour-long video about the Farnham Wiki and why it's bad, I called a lot of attention to the Wiki. And as someone used to say, there is no such thing as bad advertising. Ever since then, a lot of people have gone through the trouble of helping to fix the Farnham Wiki pages. There was a line break there, apparently. The lint entry, with more however's than you can count, has been fixed, for instance, and so have a lot of others. I don't hate this, because it reduces the amount of misinformation on the net, but I still wish the effort, you know, was put into the much better and much more cleaner looking farmwiki.org, instead of adding to the page views and thus the paycheck of the gross-ass wikia company. So I've got mixed feelings about it all. It, it sucks that by directly or indirectly encouraging people to improve the quality of wikia, I've contributed to a site that I wish could just would just stop existing, but on the other hand, at least there's less bullshit on the website now. As I said before, even some of the misleading videos got taken down, but I think it's outrageous that they're put up to begin with. And while I haven't directly edited any FU wiki page, like .org or Wikia, I have helped others who did by suggesting edits, such as when people on Reddit would be doing some kind of a workshop to fix up some pages. I only contributed to the .org ones. Uh, so I've contributed to fixing the problem, but in a bit of a different way. Now, um, that said, that leaves us with number three. Stop using Wikia, please. Seriously, stop using this stupid website. We gotta break the cycle somehow. There are much better places to look for information. The .org wiki is better than ever. Farmland WOD and Strange Forest also remain the best two sources for in-game info that I have ever seen. You have no reason not to use them. Not to mention these websites just look so much better. Holy crap, Wikia looks bad. It's so ugly, I hate it. Now please, stop telling me to fix the wiki instead of bashing it. I don't want to fix it. I wish it didn't exist. Uh, that's that, please don't vandalize the wikis. That's an awfully childish thing to do. Thanks for watching.